Hopefully. Push it in, push it so it's sort of firmly in. The roots kind of float in the water. It looks like snot when you cut it. And that's what we're gonna stew. Lilies, I'm not sure. Here they are. Let's grab some plantain. It's like you got a multitask. See, right? Every time I. So, yeah, if you go into kind of a magical little glowy, you have to mix part A and part B. Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've missed you. Oh my God. It's been over a week since I posted. What? That is a little bit much for a consistent YouTuber, don't you think? So this spring themed video is going to be longer than I usually post because again, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Don't we love spring? I picked up this branch on one of our walks. It's so beautiful. Look at these pink flowers. So pretty. Kenton was like, don't you pick it, but I did. <laughs> spring will come and so will happiness. Hold on, life will get warmer. So true. We had so many flowers for Easter, but they're pretty much done, right? So I always put them in a bunch. If I really like the roses, I put them in a bunch and hang them upside down. Here are some older roses I had and they preserve really well, right? You can literally buy dried roses, so you might as well make them yourself and save some money. The rose lilies I got almost three weeks ago, they're hanging in pretty strong. I still can't get over how large they are and just how dramatic and how they still smell amazing. So pretty. Now the tulips which came in this vase, they look pretty raggedy except for the one that's left. Look at the before and look how they look now. Pretty raggedy. <laughs> I don't want to throw them away. I feel like I need to replant them. Look at the irises two weeks ago. Beautiful. I absolutely obsessed with them. I love seeing the bulbs in the vase, but I think it's time to plant them. Um, yeah, so. It's raining. I was gonna plant the bulbs today, but it's kind of a rainy, wet day. See our deck pretty much is not pretty. It's not the spring pretty. Yeah, it's still kind of drizzling. The fig dough plant is coming back. Look at that, beautiful. And every year it comes back bigger. No, I don't think today is a good day for me to stand out here and plant those bulbs, but maybe I'll do that tomorrow. And then over here, we have blueberries. See, they come out as little flowers first, and then they evolve into little blueberries. These are some older bulbs. That's a weed. Ugh, weeds, weeds, weeds. Yeah, these are bulbs that come back every year. Literally for the last four years, they've been coming back. These are the oriental lilies. These are some more oriental lilies or some other kind of lilies. I'm not sure. Here they are. Oh, Asiatic, yeah, lily. And these are from last year, perennials. So yeah, I thought I was going to come out here and clean up and make everything look pretty but it's not the day for it. Interestingly, yesterday we had the solar eclipse. Were you affected in your area or by how much? Yeah, it got really dark for most of the day. It's not super cold, but it is a little chilly. Um, my concern bringing some of these tropical plants outside, like this banana plant, is that sometimes it gets really cold at night still, even though we are you know, in April. So I don't want to put it outside and then end up killing it. So here's the 10 day forecast. Ooh, we're going to get high of 80s later next week. Um, you see the low is 46. So that's not too bad. I mean, that's cold, but not frost. Hmm. 
One of these days I need to repot this. Like I've literally had this for two years. This is hyacinth, see? And it actually makes beautiful flowers when they come up. We had flowers last year, but I think it deserves to be in a nicer, bigger pot instead of struggling in this little glass jar. I think I'll take this one out too. This was outside. Can you imagine I've managed to keep this avocado plant alive inside? Ah, all winter. It looks very leggy though. I think it's ready to go outside. And this hibiscus was doing so well all winter, but lately it looks like it's struggling. So that's why I'm like, time to go outside. It looks like it is struggling. I also have the lemon plant and I know it's pretty sturdy and tough. They will definitely perk back up in a little bit. See like this lemon plant is doing fine. This one has been by this window and it's doing fine. In fact, it has little lemons on it. Do you see them? Somewhere. Just look how tall this is when I sit it on the table. Just look. Yep, that's avocado. Wow, it's literally touching the ceiling. So I think she's going to be happier. Right next to the blueberry. Here's the last plant. This one is uh, another lemon. Um, I always make sure I put a saucer or you know the large plastic saucer on the base so I don't want to mess up the floor of course. So that's how I have them inside. So the pots aren't directly on the floor. They're actually in a plastic container. Um, all the plants that are indoors are on plastic containers or some kind of you know barrier between the plant and the floor or the pot and the floor so yeah and then of course now I have to come back and sweep and clean because as you're moving plants in and out all the leaves are falling and just debris everywhere so it's a little messy see there's the other saucer over there from where I picked up the plant I am sure the plants are happy to be outside but the deck does look rather dreary and gray and uninspiring and I look forward to when it looks nice and green and full of life. Can you believe that is the same deck, the same space? I love when it looks so lush and green and colorful and again, full of life. This is something I haven't eaten in a while, bami. <laughs> something my grandmother used to cook. She was Caribbean or Jamaican specifically. And if there are any Jamaicans watching, please thumbs up. We all know what bami is, right? Those of you that don't know, I will be telling you. Anyway, I have to soak my bami in some milk. So here was the bami before. This is actually two patties in here, if you want to call it patties. <laughs> but technically, it's considered like cassava bread. Yeah, that's really what it is because it's cassava, salt, it's really only two ingredients, cassava and salt and a little bit of preservative. So technically it's a cassava bread, <laughs> not a pancake. So it's expanded, not quite twice the size, but it's definitely expanded quite a bit and absorbed the milk. So this is the second time I've added milk. Like when I added the milk before I came back, it was completely dry and it had absorbed it. Let's see if it'll separate. Yep, it separates. It separates. See? My hands are clean. Typically, we fry this. 
not deep fat fry or not with a lot of oil just just enough to grease the pan and then fry it. but I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit longer beef chuck roast and that's what we're gonna stew I tried a lot of vegetables. So I have cabbage in here, broccoli, and frozen spinach. We keep bags and bags of frozen spinach in the freezer. I'm gonna add a little bit of frozen peas to the meat. Everybody's hungry. I'm not even measuring, you see that? But I know what a cup is. This is about a cup. Of course, I added a little bit of water and tomatoes and seasoning and a whole bunch of stuff. So now this has to cook down. Also, it makes it easier to put it in. Let's grab some plantain. like you gotta multitask, be able to cook several things at the same time. This one hasn't come to a hold of yet. So it might stick a little bit, but that's okay. Mmm, that's what we want, that kind of golden, golden yellow. I wanted to make sure it was really cooked in, so I kind of steamed it. So it's kind of fried and steamed which means that it's nice and soft on the inside, but still kind of crunchy on the outside. It almost looks like um, a grilled sandwich, doesn't it? It's reduced sufficiently and the meat is good, good, good. Is that really hot or is that just spicy? It's uh, spicy and nutty. It's it's a uh, Mexican or uh, Latino version of um, chili crisp. In Asia, we use oh. chili, but they, so, they use agave, so it, it makes it a little sweeter. Wow, so we got Jamaican <laughs> bami <laughs> and we got Mexican spice. <laughs> That's fine. Cool. I've never tasted it, but mm, not feeling as adventurous today. That looks hot. And I know my food is already hot. Right. Mm. Hey y'all, 
Good evening or good afternoon from wherever you're watching me from. I'm pretty sure I did not do much of an intro or any intro on this video. Very typical. I hope you are doing well. I just finished with a meeting. I think it went pretty well. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, what are we doing for the rest of the evening? Well, I'm waiting for Kenton to come back. He should be home shortly and hopefully we'll go for a walk because we're trying to get our steps in. Um, I feel lighter, like my belly isn't as protuberant. <laughs> and part of that is I'm very strict with my gluten when it comes to eating or avoiding gluten. For those of you who don't know, um, yeah, I cannot eat gluten. I used to, but I can't eat it anymore. And sometimes when my belly looks like it's swollen or it looks like I'm pregnant or it looks like I'm just fat, a lot of times it's because the food, especially if we eat out, might be a little contaminated with some kind of gluten. So on and off, I get abdominal issues. But right now, she's good, she's good. See, look at that, look at that. And I've been walking almost every day, like we go for an hour. Sweating, I love when I sweat. <laughs> because I'm, I don't normally sweat. I know that sounds really odd, but I love when I sweat because that means I am burning and I'm going to lose weight and I'm burning fat. Anyway, let's go outside for a minute. It's kind of windy, all day it's been windy. Um, and also cloudy. Before we go outside, let me show you. My office is quite neat because usually it's very chaotic. When you are a creative and you're always making something or doing something, your space is a mess. Those who know, know. But, 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 I vacuumed. I cleaned off my desks. <laughs> I got more than one desk. So typically this is where I stand or this is my standing desk. This is literally where I will stand for hours um, editing videos, but I also will collapse it and sit down. Um, I have a chair here, so if I wanna sit, I will push it over and sit and lower my desk, so yeah. And I think, do I have this on my Amazon shop? I think I do. Um, it's literally, this one sits on a desk. So, you know, they have the more expensive ones that um, start at the floor. Whereas to me, this is very convenient because it doesn't take up too much space and it literally sits on top of my desk. Um, and I can just press this lever and it will lower it. See, and then I can sit right here and do whatever I need. So if I am like doing research or if I am watching a video or really mostly editing a video, I can sit um, and take a break from standing. And I love being able to look out the window um, when I'm working. So, and then I have this laptop which usually I do my thumbnails or if I am also editing sometimes I go between my Apple and I go here for something yeah and I always get asked about this keyboard the brand is Mophie I believe I also have that on my Amazon shop um, so yeah if you go into my Amazon shop you will see a space for office supplies. I think I have it listed under office supplies. So I have all the things that I use personally. So one of them is this keyboard. You can get it from Amazon in different colors. And it's so cute and I love the sound it makes. You know, it's like a vintage typewriter. I love it. I also have this, which I've had for years. This is from the Smithsonian. It's a globe. I love it. This is a little lamp, a little tiny lamp, which I like to sit on my desk right here. Put it right here. I'm looking at my keyboard. Come on, dog. Pay attention. So anyway, see? Clicks on. And this was one of those little Timu gadgets, very cheap. And then I have this little girl. 
why did I call her a girl? It's a little cat with a little bell. That's from New York. Last time we were in Chinatown, New York. Everything is listed in my shop. If you're interested in starting YouTube or, I don't know, a podcast and you need some equipment like this mic. The mic comes separate from this part and I love that it swings. And then, you know what? I did not turn on the lights above. You see that says love? And for those who know, you know Habiba's name, or Habiba. I'm just going to go into the back of my computer here and plug this in. All right. Just plugged in my light above. See, it says love. Love, love, love. Habiba means love. There you go. Just turned it on. <laughs> so it feels like, does it feel like Christmas? Nah, it's not necessarily Christmas. It's kind of a magical little glowy wall. So cute, right? So cute. And then over here we have our bookcase, which you've seen many times, I believe. Lots of medical books, lots of inspirational books, lots of self-help books. That's kind of the genre I like. Downstairs I have like all my interior design because that's the other interest of mine is interior design and and over here the dolls that I got as a gift from a subscriber. Thank you so much still. And over here I have this what I call my crafting desk but I also actually will pull the chair up over here and actually read. So if I want to not be distracted by the computer and I just want to read, um, you know, or study something, I will sit here. And then I turn on this lamp. It's very bright. Y'all have seen my girls over here. We're not going to go through them. You've seen them many times. I keep some of my lights in here and that storage over there. And my little couch from Wayfair, I believe. Wayfair. And then if we swing over here, I have that piece of artwork that used to be in my grandma's house before she passed away. That used to be by like the side door, I believe. <laughs> and then over here, I have these Alex drawers. Um, I put a plant on there on top of my printer. I have a color printer, Canon, ca Canon color printer a lot of my crafty things. Should I show you? I can show you what I got. It's like a lot of miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> this is when you know this person is a DIY crafting person, okay? All right, first drawer has not been, as far as I remember, first drawer is not anything major. Here I have, what, erasers and different types of glue. So wood glue, uh, tacky glue, white glue, furniture glue <laughs> um, and then this other water proof glue this is like some heavy duty glue more glue just different types of glue because I work with different materials sometimes um, this is not really wool but like thread I guess it's a cross between thread and wool cotton but I made some crochet items with this. And then I have some ribbon. Um, just the thin types of ribbon. Sometimes during Christmas time I need that. Or really more for doll crafting. This here and here is for sewing. I think you saw my sewing machine. I have a vintage sewing machine. And I'm really trying to remind myself that I need to get back to doing that. Only 24 hours in a day, girl. How many different things are you going to be doing? Um, yeah, more crafty stuff. This is actually kind of cool and quite helpful. This is like this, like fishing wire. Um, so if you make something that you want to hang and you want it to look invisible, you can hang it using this. Or another variation is um, this bead and jewelry cord. Okay, what else? A lot, a lot of like trinkets that I use for doll making. Like, look at this. So these are all charms. When I was making dolls, I used to hang these charms from them. 
So each doll would have a personality and would have charms attached to the doll. Like, look at this charm. It looks like a little book. Found objects, it says. It's quite cute. Um, futuristic vibe to it. Glitter, stickers, miniature glass bottles. Like, what, Habiba? Rope. This is for crafting. These are glue sticks, glue gun, beads, just random stuff, right? Paints. I have lots of paint brushes. Lots of paint brushes. This one I haven't even used. This is um, epoxy sculpt. Again, to make dolls or to make their faces when I want to alter their faces. You have to put part A and part B together. Um, a Dremel for drilling. And I have some chalk paint. I have two boxes of that, right? Artist Loft Soft Pastels Colors. That's what it looks like. Ooh, this fell out actually. So it is Artist Pastel Colors, and I have two boxes of that. Shells. I don't know what I was planning to do with this. Um, baking clay. This is spray. This stuff is very poisonous. This is called Mr. Super Clear. Mr. Super Clear. So those of us that, again, customize dolls, or do these sort of hobbies, know this product. It comes from Asia. And I think I last ordered this before the pandemic because it became really scarce and you couldn't get it. They don't sell this in the US. It is incredibly dangerous. You have to wear a mask to do it or to use it and you have to use it outside. Oh, this one is just a whole bunch of ribbon, different types, different size of ribbon. Use it for decorating, but also crafting. And these are the blank dolls that I start with. I have about five, six dolls in here that I need to customize. So I just wanted to show you, for example, let's say this doll was a basic doll and I went ahead and gave her these new lips and uh, eyebrows. Um, now, when I buy the epoxy, that sculpt stuff that I showed you where you, you have to mix part A and part B. So what that means is like I actually had to build this nose and mouth and then, you know, once it's attached and dry, then I had to come back with paint because that product is actually gray in color. So you then have to come and formulate the right paint color to cover the entire thing so you don't see, you know, where the um, sculpt took place or you don't see the material that was added. So that's why when I ended up painting her, um, she's a little bit darker than how she actually came. You see her hands here? They're a little bit more light skin <laughs> or lighter, but I don't mind. I like her skin looking darker because they didn't sell the dolls in dark skin black skin like that so that was definitely very custom oh another one who is super custom is ayodele because can you see she's got her mouth open and she's got teeth all of those were teeth that i had to sculpt and place in there and give her that gloss over her lips so yeah it's a whole process just like her wig the wig that she's wearing that was hand braided and glued. Well, Emily up there that I rarely pick up, she was actually a Caucasian doll and I sculpted her face and gave her those sort of Asian um, appearance by adding epoxy over her eyes and then having to repaint her. Because again, once you add the epoxy, the doll will look gray. And then next to the girls, I have these collection of erasers. Each of these food themed things are actually erasers. And most of them are from Japan because I like the quality and the detail. Would you like some pancakes? I think they're so cute. 
I think I have the old case. Yeah, the old case for those erasers. I just wanted to show you the brand in case you're curious. Yeah, here's the brand, Iwako. And comment below if you've heard of this brand from Japan or if you or your children collect this stuff. I love it. She's so cute. See, made in Japan. This is what it looks like with the lights off and just the little sparkly lights above. 546, Thursday, April 11th. Let's go see if Kenton, he's home. Let's see if he would like to go for a walk. Give me a kiss. Are we going for a walk? No, it's raining. No, it's not raining. Let's go for a it's walk. Y'all see, I'm right? Here. Every time I suggest exercise, he don't want to go exercise. Kill me. That's what I am not trying to kill you. I'm trying to keep you alive. Let's go yeah. exercise. We need to go. We didn't go yesterday. Right, we need to go. Right. I'll change. I'll change. Yes, please. I gotta change too. I'm ready. I'm ready as soon as you're ready. Awesome. All right, what's Kareem got? What's that? Chicken. Oh, it's chicken. Mmm. The color, though. I need it to be a little red. It's not going to be red? Where's it going to be? It's going to be creamy. It's going to be creamy. Oh, okay. So it's waiting for some cream. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> and then uh, we got a lot of spice there. What's in? Oh, that pot's empty. And of course, we got vegetables coming. Just want you to know, don't sleep on apples. Some apples hit different. This is one of them. Mmm. So sweet and juicy <laughs> and crispy. Well, maybe I'm just so hungry. But no, seriously, this apple hits different. I'm still going for my walk. Mm. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, they say. Mm. We actually went exercising and this is after getting some exercise. I decided I wanted a snack, like I wanted a mango. So why am I looking at all of this? That looks good. Look at these watermelons. They're kind of small, aren't they? Mini seedless watermelon. I just can't go for that. I wanted mangoes. These look sad. These look sad. Oh, wrinkly and. I mean, this one's okay, but. Mm. Go get onions and wrap them in a little That's sad. They bought up all the mangoes. It's only Thursday. Yeah. Some bigger seedless watermelons. I don't know, man. The inventory is a little low today, boo. Even the potatoes, sweet potatoes, and the regular Irish potatoes. Flowers. Right, they have the mango chunks, but I don't know. I don't know. I would prefer the taste of the fresh. Although this says organic, no sugar added. Mm, this is different. Chocolate covered cherries. I'm trying to find you. I was like, where do you go? Let's go to the gluten free area, see what they got. There's a lot of goodies here. Is this gluten free? Yeah, it's from Oh, really? Oh, that's gluten free. I mean, you can get it. I'm not a big coconut macaroon person, to be honest. I don't like that kind of trashy feeling in my teeth. That's why I love Wegmans. Look, they got this whole aisle. Even here, they got gluten free. All right, so we can get gluten free snacks. 
But then, of course, I also have to watch my salt intake. So, for example, this is gluten-free, but I wouldn't get it because of all this salt. You can literally see the salt granules on it. Nah, I wouldn't get it. Let's see the percentage of sodium. 13%, right? That's a ton. Like I said before, I try to stay with around 7% sodium per serving in general. That works for me or less. So I don't get potato chips, none of this. But I do like a little bit of sweet every now and then. Wow, this is different. Cauliflower potato chips. Interesting. See, they even have gluten-free sugar cones. Interesting. No wheat, thank God. I want some cookies. I want some cookies. Ooh, I've never seen these before. I still love Fig Newtons. I haven't had Fig Newtons in a large time. Long, long time. You know what? I'm going to get this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. It's like Fig Newtons, but gluten-free. This will hit the spot. Enter phone number, then touch enter. Wow, okay, all gluten free. We bought these cookies before, these aren't bad. This looks good, this praline nut roll, what? Boo, next time. I wanna try that next time. Looks like it's got some cream and nuts. Cream and nuts for you. Kenton? Right. <laughs> Chocolate cake, gluten free, but you know, the slices are kind of small and they're quite expensive. But that one, that looks considerable. It got spice cake. No, I wouldn't want the raspberry, just telling you now. Uh, the seven layer, that's not bad too, but I think I like the one with the nuts and the cream. Yeah, so then why don't I just get it, get it over with. Really? It's not going to be here. This is from Passover. Passover's over. That's Easter. Is that, that is gluten-free, huh? Yes. All right, sure. All right, I just want to show you what else they got. They got shortcake. These are really good too, but you only get a small amount. In America, we're used to big portions. <laughs> and this little thing is $4. It's tiny. I got small hands. Oh, my hubby's so sweet. He's gone to get me the roll. Aren't I spoiled? I know, I know, I know. I'm spoiled. <laughs> Look, they got gluten-free Rice Krispie treats. You can buy a whole tray. I mean, think about it. I have not been able to eat Rice Krispie treats in years because you wouldn't believe they're not gluten-free. It's technically supposed to be Rice Krispies and marshmallows, but somehow they find a way, the traditional version, to sneak in wheat. Like, why? And then they have these healthy, cho healthy cocoa bites. Mm. The roll was eleven ninety nine. Coming home with me. Homebound we go. Homebound we go. Daddy O's plate. Creamed it to get, and we got the plantain. Let's get some broccoli. Then let's see the chicken. He's already eaten interesting. Mm, that looks good. The spicy cream looks good. Not super spicy, but looks good. It's over there. Sure it was sketchy. Uh, 
how interesting was that? The die doesn't lie. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna make a mess. Ew. Oh, see? It's got like this plastic thing that helps it float on top. Ew. Kind of smells bad now, though. Not gonna lie, this water that it's been sitting in, it's kind of gross. Kind of gross. But I hope these survive and grow. Almost looks like uh, garlic, kind of. I guess I'll probably keep, keep this. I know me, I'll probably find something for it. You can see what it looks like properly. So yeah, it was kind of sitting in the vase. I think I'm also going to go ahead and repot this hyacinth I showed you earlier into this pot. Tulips, yeah. Um, you want the stalk or the top cut off to show a little bit. Right. Look, push it in. Push it so it's it firmly in. But, yeah. And then you just keep going. Was that one? Oh, okay. Isn't that fascinating? Just look at that. That's so fascinating to me. So it's like the roots kind of float in the water or, you know, they keep their structure because of that plastic cage-like spiky thing. Anyway, pretty cool. Going to plant these out there to find a space for them. I just cut off the tops of these daffodils. Ugh, and this looks like snot coming out of them. <laughs> just look at that. Do you see that? It looks like snot when you cut it. Ooh, I don't know if I did that right. If I'm supposed to do it like that, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm praying they grow back. That looks, that looks gross. Anyway, look, ew, that looks like snot for real. Habiba, grow up. <laughs> so this is where these are gonna get planted. These are plant tags. A whole back pack of them. How come I only find two? I had a whole pack. Yeah, these are quite sturdy. They're made out of, it appears to be, I don't know, some sort of wood veneer or bamboo. All right, tulips. So hopefully, It'll all work out. <laughs> Those of you that have been watching and have not subscribed, go ahead and make a girl happy. I'll wait. Hit your notification bell. That way you get all our videos straight to you. You don't miss another video. Please go ahead, hit that notification bell. And then of course, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe i really appreciate it. thank you thank you so much again and i will be seeing you soon with love from north carolina bye